everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take power from me. SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I've been tracking this upgrade. I wanted to let you guys know what's happening with it. Uh, the upgrade's basically done, so I did some filming here. As I'm doing my voiceover, I'm going to let you guys know what's happening with this upgrade. So uh, basically, it's it's not a overly old site. Uh, for the most part, it's been upgraded by Verizon a few years ago, but now they're adding some of the newer frequencies. There's the CBRS radio and antenna. Uh, you'll see that they're kind of located near each other. And then there's the N77 C-band antenna. Uh, above it is, uh, I don't know, looks like some other uh, frequency. But you'll see those two taller antennas that has all the other kind of like sub-3 gigahertz stuff. Uh, when I was talking to the crew, they they told me everything they were going to be upgrading. Uh, they, they said that they were doing, I think, basically just uh, a, a, a typical modernization. All right, so that means this entire site has been upgraded by all the carriers on it. All right, so Dish is at the top. And then right below it is Verizon. Then below them is an upgraded uh, T-Mobile site. All right, so you're all set. And then the gear at the bottom is no longer in use. All right, now the area it serves, it's serving, well, I'm going to point here in this direction. That's towards I-90 in Westlake, Ohio, towards Crocker Park. So it's definitely going to be a very needed upgrade with respect to capacity in that direction. Uh, there's hotels in this direction, the freeway overpass, obviously, and then Crocker Park. And, um, and and also the Westlake Promenade. All right, so definitely this was an upgrade that was re required and needed. Uh, so you're going to, I'm, I'm going to definitely test it. And everything is active as of right now. The upgrade took about a week. Uh, but the one thing that I will tell you guys is just based on the upgrade alone, forget the N77 because it's not on yet, but I, I'm seeing like 100 and plus odd megabits per second down and like 80 uplink. Okay, so it's working great. We're just waiting on the N77. Something tells me that the FAA still has their hands in the clearance part of this stuff. It's nowhere near an airport, folks. Not at all. All right, but still got to get clearance from the FAA. It looks like that's still a thing. Uh, I'll be waiting for that to change. <laughs> but the 850 is live. Uh, the Band 5 N5 DSS. Uh, the Band 13 is connecting. So all that stuff is normal. LTE side, you've got AWS, the 2100 band 66, PCS, 1900 megahertz, that's the band 2. And then for the new antennas, you guys saw it, it's band 48, 3500 megahertz. All right, and typically I see between like 60 and 70 megahertz of that for bandwidth. That'll be future uh, shared with NR, so we'll be seeing that on 5G very soon. Excited about that. And then the big one, of course, not active yet, but the N77, 3700 frequency. You get the multi, uh, or excuse me, the massive MIMO antenna, right? With the radio gear, it's it's that's the best part. Right now, it's 60 megahertz bandwidth. It'll be moving to 140 megahertz in my market by the end of the year. It's the site's on a 10 gig circuit. There's really not much left, folks. This is one of the last few sites that has not been upgraded, and I think now at this point, Verizon's probably going to start moving towards doing small cell upgrades as well with the N77 frequency, uh, 3700. So the, these hotels that are there, uh, the highway traffic, the Westlake Promenade, Crocker Park, uh, there's a lot of like, there's a couple of shopping centers there, like some restaurants. This is a huge upgrade. This was a really important upgrade, actually. There were some pretty close calls where I ran speed tests coming off of some of these sectors, and I'm getting like 20, 30 megabits per second, right? That's a close call. And Verizon has a small cell not far from there, and all the cell sites around this area have been upgraded. So this is the last one and a critical one. All right, so pictures are up on the screen. You guys have been watching and looking at those while I'm offering you my commentary. Uh, Verizon has done a great job to upgrade, spending the money, putting the capacity on there, and supporting all the different uses on their network. Uh, but there's re that's really it. There's not much left to do in my county. They've, they've worked really fast. It truly is impressive how quickly they did this market, even faster than the AWS build that we saw a number of years ago. All right, so T-Mobile's been upgrading. They're mostly done, probably. Uh, AT&T's got a bit to do. Uh, they're definitely behind Verizon, but they're still upgrading at a great pace as well. Exciting. Tell me about what you guys have been seeing. Uh, tell me about the upgrades in your area, who's doing them, what are they doing, and how the performance is. Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. 
Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to my YouTube members and Patreon supporters for making content on this channel possible. And if you're looking for a great deal on wireless service, check out our partner, Mint Mobile. The partner link is in the description. And don't forget, if you want to support your creators directly, you could do so. Buy me a coffee. The real SMT Buy Me a Coffee link is in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Folks, we shall see you all in the next video. Peace.